Good morning, praying parents. May the Lord bless you and your family this morning. I want you to know that your expectation will not be cut off. God has an expectation concerning you and your family. Your expectation shall not be cut off. The eye of the Lord is really upon you. The eye of the Lord is watching over you. The eye of the Lord has gone before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is with you. I want to reassure you this morning that he said he will never leave you nor forsake you. And so Father, we thank you. I want you to thank the Lord right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and say, Father, thank you that your eyes are on me, protecting me and my family. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want you to say, Father, thank you that your eye, yes, Maseke Talababa, your eyes are protecting me and my family watching over us, giving praise for divine protection. Hallelujah. Maseke Talamaka Yakalamaka Seke. Rabba Zeke Talababa, thank the Lord right now. Makarebe Gezeke Talababa, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Mazeba Reba Baba Baba, Andaraba Gazeke Talababa Baba, yes Lord. Mazeba Raba Baba Baba, yes Lord. Makaya Kalabaka Seke, Labaraba Gazeke Talababa Baba. The Bible says in Genesis 6 8, but Noah found favor. In the eyes of the Lord, I pray this morning that your children, you yourself and your family, you will find favor in the eyes of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, you will find favor in the eyes of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this week you will find favor in the eyes of the Lord. Your children will find favor. In the eyes of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to say, Father, I thank you that I have found favor in your eyes. My children have found favor in your eyes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, say, Father, thank you for your favor. Thank you for your favor. You have released your favor over me and my children. Say, Father, thank you for your favor. Oh, Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. La bara ba 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 ba. Oh Lord, we give you praise, O oh God. Maze bara ba 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 ba. Le bara ba ga sheke talababa. Father, we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Peter 3, 12, For the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears attend to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Listen, the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous. Are you the righteous? The eyes of the Lord are toward you and your children. Take this and claim it. Don't, don't ever allow the enemy to make you doubt whether God is looking towards you with favor or not. God favors you. God favors your family. The Bible says, and his ears attend to their prayer. I want you to say, Father, thank you that your ears are attending to my prayers right now. You see, no matter what prayer you're praying, God is listening. God is hearing. I want you to say, Father, thank you that your ears attend to my prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you that your ears attend to my my prayers over my family, over my children. In Jesus' name. Thank you for answered prayers, O oh God. Your ears are attending to my prayers for my children, my grandchildren. That is what God is saying, that his ears are attending to your prayers. So all you need to do is give him thanks. Give him thanks. Don't doubt. You see, doubt makes you think God is not listening. So I've got to pray more and more and more. I'm not saying don't pray. Prayer is very good. We pray every week. We're praying every day. I pray every day. You pray every day. But what I'm saying is don't doubt. 
out whether God can hear you or not. Because the Bible says his ears attend to the prayers of the righteous. You are that righteous person and God's ears are attending to your prayers. So right now, I want you to give God thanks and say, Father, I thank you that your ears attend to my prayers. Oh, Robo Sheke Talababa. Thank you that your ears attend to my prayers for me and my family, for me and my children, for me and my grandchildren. Thank you for answered prayers. Maseka Talababa. Marabaka sheke talababa, rebaka yakala makaseke talababa, marabaga zeke talababa, rabaga yaka talababa, lebraba zadara baba baba, lebraba gazege talababa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank the Lord right now and say, Father, thank you for answered prayers. Mazaba rabaga sheke talababa. Thank you for answering my prayers over my children. Thank Him right now. Say, Father, thank you for answering my prayers over my children, over my grandchildren, over my family, over my husband. Over my wife, yes, Maka Seke Talababa, over my home in the name of Jesus. Maseke Talababa Reba Baba. Yes, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you for answered prayers, O God. Maseke Teleba Baba, Erebaga Yeke Talababa, Yabaraba Gaseke Talababa. Father, we bless you. Oh, we magnify your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. The Bible says, But the face of the Lord is a against those who do evil. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Whoever is doing evil against you right now, the face of the Lord is against them. The face of the Lord is against them. And so I want you to say, Father, thank you for victory. That your face is against those who are doing evil against me and my family. Doing evil against me and my children. Doing evil against me and my grandchildren. Your face is against them. Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory. Masaka talababa. Thank you that your face is against those who are doing evil. Against my family. Those who are doing evil against my family. Your face is against them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the one who fights my battles. Thank you, Father, that your face is against those who are doing evil against me right now in your workplace. All those who are doing evil against you, the face of the Lord is against them. The face of the Lord is against those who are doing evil in your workplace. I want you to thank the Lord right now and say, Father, thank you that your face is against those who are doing evil in my workplace, in my business, in my job, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says in Proverbs 15, 3, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, everywhere, watching the evil and the good. God can see the evil and can see the good. Praise the Lord. His eyes are in every place. I want you to thank the Lord that, Father, your eyes are in my home. Yeah, the eyes of the Lord are over your home right now. You, you are very secure. Your children are secure. No matter what prodigal journey your children are going through right now, the eyes of the Lord are still upon them. Remember the prodigal's father. When the prodigal son went away, the father was waiting. The father was watching. He was watching. He was waiting with expectation that this child will come back home. And you know the child came back home. Wherever your children are right now, in the story of their lives, in the challenges of their lives, they will come back home in the name of Jesus because the eyes of the Lord are in every place wherever your children are right now the eyes of the Lord are there I plead the blood of Jesus over your children I plead the blood of Jesus over your family this morning. Wherever they are, the eyes of the Lord are watching over them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I plead the protection that is in the name of Jesus over you, over your family, over your children, wherever they are, your grandchildren, wherever they are, the eyes of the Lord will not cease to watch over them and protect them in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over them. No evil shall come near your children or grandchildren. No evil shall come near your dwelling. 
healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. La bareba kasheke, la baraba gazeke, la baraba gayaka, la baraba gazeke, la baraba gazagata la baba, le breba gayaka tala baba, le breba gazeke tala baba, le raba gayaka tala baba, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. La baraba gasheke tala baba, the Lord protects you and your children and your grandchildren wherever you go. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Psalm 32, Psalm 32 verse 8, the Bible says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you should go. I will instruct you and teach you in the way in which you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. You see, God is about the eye. You see, God is about the eye. He is watching. He is watching over your family. His eyes will never be removed from your home, from your children, from your family, from your grandchildren. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you should go. Some of you are asking questions from the Lord right now. You want to do something. You don't know which way to go. You want to take your children to a particular school. You don't know whether that school is good for your children or not. You don't know which university your children are going to attend. You don't know where they're going to get their job. You don't know what business you want to do business. You don't know what business you want to do. You just don't know which direction to go. The Lord says, I will instruct you. And I will teach you. So I want you to say, Father, I thank you today that you will instruct me and teach me in the way which I should go. Thank you, Father, that you will instruct me and teach me in the way which I should go. In the name of Jesus, you will instruct my children and teach them in the way which they should go. You will instruct my children and grandchildren and teach them in the way which they should go in the name of Jesus according to Psalm 32 8 thank you father I want you to say thank you father that you will instruct me and my children and grandchildren and teach us in the way which we should go in the mighty name of Jesus you will not be confused in the way in which you should go, the Lord will instruct you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your family will not be confused. You will not be confused. You will know that way because the Lord will instruct you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not miss your way. You will not miss the way. Your children and grandchildren will not miss the way. The Lord will instruct. In the mighty name of Jesus and teach you. The Lord will teach you. Say, Lord, thank you that you will teach me in the way which I should go. Say, Father, thank you that you will teach me and instruct me in the way which I should go concerning my children, concerning my grandchildren. Father, thank you for teaching me in the way which I should go. Give him praise right now. Father, we give you praise. We thank you, almighty God, for your instructions, for your teaching, for your counsel. In the mighty name of Jesus, Yes, Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for your instructions. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for your instructions and your teaching and your teaching. Thank you for your instructions and your teaching. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says in Psalm 32 verse 8, I will counsel you. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. You see, God is not going to counsel you looking somewhere where else. He's not going to counsel you being distracted. God is saying, I will counsel you with my eye upon you, my eye upon your children, my eye upon your grandchildren. I will do it, not anybody else. I will be the one to do it by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I want you to say, Father, thank you that you will counsel me with your eye upon me. Thank you that you will counsel my children and grandchildren with your eye upon them. Thank you that you will counsel my family 
with your eye upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to say, Father, thank you for your counsel right now and your eye that is upon us. Thank you for your counsel. Thank you for your counsel. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your counsel. Thank you for your counsel. Thank you for your counsel, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you counsel our children in the education, in all their relationships, amongst their friendships. Say, Father, thank you for counseling my children amongst their friendships, in their relationships, in whatever they do, amongst their peers, you counsel them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. The Bible says in Psalm 34, 15, the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. When you cry out to God in prayer, God hears you. God hears you. God hears you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want you to thank the Lord for his eyes. You know, because those eyes are powerful. Those eyes look at you and the devil cannot see you. <laughs> when the eyes of God are upon you and your family, let me tell you something. The devil cannot be victorious victorious over you. You are already victorious because the eye of the Lord is full of the glory of the Lord. It's full of the fire of the Lord. It's full of the light of the, of the, of the Lord. And where the light of God is, darkness comprehends it not. Hallelujah, Father. Oh, we give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name, O God. I want you to thank the Lord and say, Father, thank you that your ears are open to my cry. The Bible says, and his ears are open to their cry. Have you been crying in the place of prayer? Have you been crying to the Lord? Have you been asking him some things that you're thinking, no, it's taking too long. I'm telling you today that the Bible says in Psalm 34, 15, the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. Number one, I want you to repent of unbelief because if you have believed that God is not hearing you, that is a sin. Say, Lord, I'm sorry and I repent for doubting that you hear me. Today, I thank you. That your ears are open to my cry. I thank you that your ears are open to my cry. I give you praise that your ears are open to my cry over my children, over my family, over my life, over my business, over my job, over everything that pertains to me and my family, that your ears are open to my cry. I give you praise, glory, adoration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Master. I want you to begin to thank the Lord and say, Father, thank you that your ears are open to my cry. Thank you that your ears are open to my cry over my children, over my grandchildren, over my job, over my home, over everything concerning my family. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, we praise you, hallelujah, Jesus. Father, thank you that you answer, you answer, you pay attention to our cries. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You pay attention, you pay attention. Father, we give you praise. Oh, we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Bible says in Isaiah 65, 24, before the call, I will answer. Before the call, I will answer. God is telling me to tell somebody, I have answered you. 
I have answered you before you have even called. I see what you're going through. I understand. I've been through pain. I was crucified. I died and I rose again. My blood was shed for you. My blood has earned you that victory. My eyes are upon you. I have heard your prayers and I continue to answer. The Lord says, be patient. Be patient, be patient. In Jeremiah 29, 12, the Bible says, Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Pray, parents. This is the word of the Lord to you. In Jeremiah 29, 12, Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. God loves you. God loves you. Hallelujah. I want you to just thank him for his loving kindness. Thank him for his loving kindness. Oh, Father, we thank you for your graciousness. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Psalm 69 verse 33 says, For the Lord, he is the needy and does not despise his who are prisoners. Perhaps you find yourself in a prison experience like Paul and Silas, but they never stopped praising the Lord in their prison. God is saying, I want you to praise me in your prison. I hear the needy. God heard them and sent his angels down there to open the prison doors. Although they were locked in so tightly, they were padlocked. The prison door was well shut. They put them in solitary confinement. They put a soldier there to watch over them. Yet, when they began to praise the Lord, the earth quaked in that prison and the doors flew open and the angel just opened that gate and told them to walk out. They walked out of prison. You walk out of your prison right now. In the name of Jesus, you walk out of your prison right now. Your children walk out of their prison right now because the Bible says, for the Lord, he is the needy. The Lord has heard you and he will not despise his who are prisoners. The Bible says he will not despise his own who are prisoners. Today in Jesus' name, I command every prison door to break open concerning you and your children. I command prison doors to open right now. Open right now. Open right now. Open right now. Prison doors open and I decree and declare your children walk out of that prison door. You walk out of that prison door in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise. The prison doors are open. Prison doors are open. Prison doors are open. Somebody, there's a message out here for you this morning. Your prison doors are open. Walk, 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 walk out of it. Walk out of that prison. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has yoked you, whatever circumstances you find yourself in that you cannot get out of, the Lord has opened your prison doors, has opened the prison doors for your children in the name of Jesus, for your grandchildren. Kimali is out of prison in the name of Jesus. Masaka Tolobaba, Le Braba Gazaka, La Braba Gazeke, La Braba Gayaka, La Braba Gazeke. Miranda is out of prison in the name of Jesus. Your family, Swanet, is out of prison in the name of Jesus. Whatever the prison doors represent to you, whatever circumstances you're going through, the Lord says, I've done it. Donna Anglin, God has done it. In the name of Jesus, Stephen, God has done it. God has done it, Stephen. He has done it. All your accusers are scattered. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is with you, praying parents. The Lord is with you and your children, praying parents, the Lord says, I should tell you, I want you to give me praise. I want you to give me glory. I want you to adore my name for I hear you. I know you by your name. I know your children by their name. I know your grandchildren by their name. I know your house number. I know the your head, the amount of hair that is on your head, on your children's heads. Oh yes, I am the Lord your God in the midst of you. I never fail. I will never 
failed you. I will never despise you. I will never forsake you. I will never leave you lonely. I am the Lord your God and I the Lord your God in the midst of you. I am a mighty God. I am a mighty God. I am a mighty God. And I will never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord to you this morning. May your week be blessed in Jesus name. The Bible says in Proverbs 15 29. The Lord is far from the wicked. But he hears the prayer of the righteous. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. You are the righteous and the Lord has answered your prayers according to his will in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But know, uh, praying parents today, that the Lord has set apart the godly man, the godly woman for himself. He has set you and your children apart for himself and your grandchildren. He hears when you call to him. Psalm 4 verse 3. He hears, the Lord hears when we call to him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Lord will fulfill your desires as you fear him. He will fulfill your desires. He will hear your cry. And he has saved you and your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I give praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Isaiah 65, 24, it will also come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they're still speaking, I will hear. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Isaiah 65, 24. It will also come to pass that whilst praying parents, that before you call, the Lord says, I will answer. And while you're still speaking, he will hear you. So I just want you to take this time today. And just bless the Lord and thank him and thank him and thank him and continually give him thanks. Your prayers are answered in Jesus name. He's the God that answers our prayers and we bless him. In Jesus' name, amen. I plead the blood of Jesus over your week, over your children's week right now. I plead the blood of Jesus over your day, over all your endeavors. Whatsoever you lay your hands upon shall prosper. Your children shall prosper as they go out, as they come in. The Lord will prosper them. The Lord will protect them. The Lord will keep them wherever they are, in their jobs, their education, their marriages, whatever they're doing. And your children and grandchildren are blessed with every spirit spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Praying parents, you are blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. I plead the blood of Jesus over your week, over your children's week, over your grandchildren's week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray peace over you, peace over your children, peace over your grandchildren. No sudden calamity shall come near you or your family. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, praying parents. The eye of the Lord will never cease from watching over you and your family. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.